There we go. Remember when we were kids and we were scared of the dark? And then we got a little bit older and all of a sudden, especially when you were in high school, you kind of didn't even want to wake up till 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock in the morning. And like the fact that high school had to start at 730 in the morning was fucking torture. But you were up all night on the phone with your friends or maybe even on the Internet with your friends at this point. Um, maybe till two, three o'clock in the morning. If you had an assignment to do, it was all of a sudden like yeah, you could you could pull, pull an all nighter. Suddenly the dark wasn't so fearsome. Suddenly the dark was almost a cool period. A period where exciting things could happen, where adult things could happen. And because your perspective had changed, because you'd grown enough for it to change, suddenly something that was so intensely, it seemed so horrible, was actually exciting and adventurous. That's kind of what's happening with the energy right now, is even though it may seem like you're being held back or that something is not, it's not horrible, it's stalled. Or it seems like there's no, there's no way, like there's no way forward or that it might not just stall, but it might stop completely. Um, there is wonderful, wonderful ways to make this time work for you. Um, there are, there's beauty in these moments of dullness or indecision even even sometimes it could be your own mindset because mercury is in retrograde and you guys are ruled by mercury so it could very well be your own your own mindset like questioning questioning what you decided questioning decisions in the past wondering if you did the right thing and then it will exacerbate your sense of worry you know that sense of but what if i didn't and what if this is all of my fault and or all of these things can start to collapse in on you but I have to say that I feel such beauty right now about your life. Um, and it is because I'm looking at the cards and I, and I see what's coming. But there's, there's this sense of relief. What I'm saying is this time doesn't have to be torment or torture. If, and I've been saying this is a common thread in all of the readings, Virgo, if you have faith. You know, faith is believing when common sense tells us not to, right? That's the, the famous line from Miracle on 34th Street. Um, but I, I honestly think it's more than that. Faith is part of the integral recipe to manifesting. If we don't have faith, if we, we don't understand, it's almost like it's almost like the baking part of baking. You kind of have to like, you do all you can, you roll it, you pat it, you mark it with a B, you do everything you can, you decorate it. But at some point you gotta, you gotta hand it over to the oven and just let it take over. And yes, you have to be vigilant. You have to be in constant connection with what's happening in the stove, on the, in the oven, but set the timer and let it be. It's like, it's kind of like that. This is that baking period. I know, not get baked, but whatever, I don't judge you. Um, this is that baking period, that period where you have got to hand it over and let in faith. You've got to hand it over in faith and know that really you have done all that you can do. Um, there is confusion here. I see that you have that that it's your it's your it's your mindset that's actually making you worry the most. I see that there are some regrets. Thing, uh, oh, rethinking things that you did in the past and maybe regretting choices that you've made. Um, that's very natural for you in a Mercury retrograde because you it is supposed to be a retrospective period for you, for you to like take inventory and go through all of those choices. And you, But you see, this, this is the thing. You're not doing it to condemn yourself. That's not what the exercise is for. The exercise is for enlightenment to help you understand. And now from an objective point of view where you don't have to be, you're not pressured by the thing happening to you and all these emotions. Now that you have some space and you can be objective, you can look back and say, did I make those choices? Did I make the right choices? And it's not like you're gonna go back and have to fix anything. It's that you're learning from this objective kind of perspective of, you know what, I really didn't make the right choice. And I, 
would like it better if I never did that again, or I would like it better if uh, that hadn't been done. And, and now I see how that led to things that even though I thought it would make me happy at the time, it led to things that did not end up making me happy. You know, it, 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 the cake fell, the, the, it, it burnt. It's like, I, I handed it over to the wrong place. I set it on the wrong timer. I put broil instead of bake. I, I made choices that led to an outcome that I actually am very unhappy with and what, how this empowers you. Cause that's, that's what's going on. I'm telling you right now, you're, you're, you're ruled by Mercury. It's now in retrograde in Aquarius, which is really Mercury basically do taking a double take and seeing things from a totally different perspective. And, and because of that, he may be questioning himself or he may just be looking over things and seeing things from better or worse because now it's looking outside of the box instead of stuck in it. And then simultaneously, what's also happening is um, the moon has descended into Scorpio for a couple of days at the end of this week. And what that does is it takes us into the underworld and it may, makes us question our emotions and sort of confront toxicities toxicities that choices and and this what i'm saying is the cosmos is aligned for you with your very scrupulous mind to be able to basically have the strength and courage to look and say i made those choices based on toxicity that's why they turned out the way that they did and in this comfort zone of analysis you can now build uh, you can now build and move forward in a beautiful way. I don't think you are stuck. If you feel stuck, you know, you're you're unhappy about something, you really, Virgo, you're not stuck. That's what I'm here to tell you. It feels like you're stuck because you're still in a contemplative retrospective. So maybe you're just at a standstill right now, but you're absolutely not stuck. And you, whenever you want, you can choose to move in a different direction and do something else. And I do think that there is, it's almost like, I will say this, I will say this. There's some choice that you've had or maybe messages that didn't come in or information you didn't receive or just having trouble making up your mind, especially when it concerns a specific commitment. And I'm not going to tag this as a wedding ring. I'm going to say that it, it is about a certain commitment. And this is why I'm telling you all of this is because those are red flags. You know, maybe you're judging yourself too harshly. You're knocking yourself over the head for it. You're saying, you know, no. The fact that you haven't moved forward is a sign. It's a sign that you're not certain of it. It's and 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 what you're really doing right now with your mind in with Mercury in retrograde is you're looking at other incidences in your life where you probably tried to push through or um, create a, a solution for the problem when in reality it wasn't yours to create. You don't have to create a solution for this problem. You have to step back and look at this objectively and see it from somebody else's point of view that isn't emotionally involved. And in doing that, liberate yourself from anything that is tethering you or tying you down and be able to release it and know I'm not the bad guy here. I just haven't been making the right decisions. What I need to do and what I can do now is get in touch with my psyche. That's what I just felt. It's like, get in touch with my psyche, get out of my head, get my head out of my way and get in touch with my psyche. And what do I, what do I know is happening? What, what do I know inside? Because the conflict right now is between your soul knowing what your heart knows and what your mind is allowing you to think or put together or what's made sense to your brain. And this is, this is a common theme for everybody this week is that there's, hold on, is that there's this, um, there's this, there's been, excuse me, there's been this disconnect between heart and mind. And you have such a prolific mind. You rule, like I said, you're ruled by Mercury, put everything into order, straightening, fixing, um, organizing, planning, all of those wonderful things can also block you in and keep you away from another part of you that is extremely fine tuned. And a lot of times you stamp all over it, which is your intuition and your your psychic your psychic abilities you will know things you will know things and you will find a way to figure your way out of them if what you know is uncomfortable to you but ultimately now is a time when you will be able to have that mental prowess to be able to not be uncomfortable 
with those things that maybe before you weren't able to see or look to. And what I'm saying this for is because you're like, oh, okay, when is it going to get to the good news? It sounds like bad news. No, you've been feeling that something's off, but you can't figure out how to justify it. And so you're making it work. You're trying making it work because that's what Virgos do. They make things work. But is your heart still in it? is what I'm asking you. And this is the week where you actually get to, at least to yourself, step back and admit, but you know what, my heart, my heart's not in it. That's why it's been such a pain. It's been such a struggle. I've, I've been, there's so much confusion and the confusion is causing me such suffering. The confusion is really just a symptom of the fact that something that I committed myself to is not working for me. And I, and I, and I, because I committed myself to it and because I'm an ethical and moral person, I just haven't been able to look myself in the eye and admit, I don't like what's going on here. Well, now you do. Now you do. And that's why this is, it sounds like bad news because you have to confront some shit, but it's actually good news because Virgo, you have such a beautiful thing waiting for you. I'm, share your voice. This has come out of your cave and be heard and, and be seen. Allow yourself to be seen also Come out of the isolation. Come out of that place where you were forced to be and come into the place where you actually want to be. Say yes. There's an opportunity here that's opening up to you. That you had. There's no way that you could bring this about yourself. You had to let go and make room so that it could come into you. But honestly, something in your life is opening up. Could be career opportunity. And I think if it's career opportunity, that's also going to lead to romance opportunity as well. Just, just letting you know, it, you know, maybe you're not looking for it, but ultimately um, things are starting to open up now because you're allowing them to. You're allowing them to. This is what's telling me, this card right here, you need to take a break. See the little brownies? They're sneaking up in the, into the door. If you were a Girl Scout, you know what brownies are. Brownies are like little sprites, little fairies that come in and help you. Help you in it. They don't even have to ask. Which means now it's time for you, Virgo, to let faith, faith not fate, to let faith handle this situation and have faith. Because I know that logically what's in front of you there's no reason to let it go because it's not reason. It's about your heart. It's your psyche. It's telling you, it's your psychic instincts that you must release this. And you know it's true. You just feel so fucking bad about it, right? It's almost like it's my fault the seasons are changing. You can see how defensive she is. But this is a card that reminds us the seasons are meant to change. It's not your fault. This happens. This is this is this is the, the, the product of nature. You know, millions of years of development and evolution says the seasons change. This is natural. Change is essential for life. So ultimately, even though right now you may feel like you're stuck or in a hard spot or that you're being kind of like um, put into very uncomfortable situations, like situations you would rather not be in, um, this card says that there's something beautiful coming in. And if you just fall, if you switch your mindset by literally just finding a way to find beauty in the current situation, find beauty in the acceptance of the current reality. Find beauty in it and find goodness in it and, and, and find a way to smile and find a way to fill your heart with joy. You are going to welcome in the greatest and most beautiful joy of your life that you've ever experienced. Love who you are without shame and without fear, without self-judgment because you guys judge yourself a lot and I know that you do and it's probably the reason why, um, it's probably the reason why you know, you appear to be so judgmental of others on the outside because you've allowed yourself for years to talk like that to yourself. So why wouldn't you allow yourself to, it seems natural, it seems fair, it seems right because you really assault yourself with so many judgments in your head every fucking day. And that's what I'm saying, release. Release and relinquish because you don't deserve to be judged right now. You don't deserve to be scrutinized right now. You deserve to be accepted and you deserve to be 
Um, you deserve to be accepted and you deserve to be loved unconditionally, but you've got to give that to yourself, right? This is about loving ex everything that I am. I'm going to love, even if it doesn't make sense to other people, even if it doesn't even make sense to me, trust that psychic aspect of yourself because that's what needs to come into balance right now. And then we have the only thing that is real is love. Bam. This is the ace of cups. So once you learn to love who you are, you're going to be amazed at the, the abundance is going to come in. Like that's the space clearing is not talking down to yourself, not being judgmental and not talking yourself into a situation that is actually not aligned with your heart because you're being overly critical of yourself. Um, this is it. This is that sense of aligning with your heart. And it, it starts with loving yourself first. I love you a little bit. Um, if you like this video so far, please do like uh, the video and also subscribe to the channel. Um, and then ring that bell and hit all notifications so that you get notified when I upload all the content. I upload between 12 and 14 videos a week here. And Virgo, excuse me, Virgo content always comes out, excuse me, um, on Friday, um, every single Friday. But, you know, you're not just your sun sign. You're your moon, your rising sign. Maybe you want to check out other signs. Every week, there's new messages for each of the 12 signs, so you can pick up whatever you're interested in. There's always a Vimeo video. There's always an extended, and that link is down below this video. And what that does is I take tarot, and I look at this reading, and I build on top of it, and I say, give me the specifics. Tell me what, when, who, where, why. Tell me what are the challenges and how to get through this and what's going to be the outcome. And so if you want that kind of articulated reading, that link is down below and it, it's like a two in one reading because it's also a romance reading as well. Um, it, the romance reading comes after the tarot card reading. So it's two separate readings in one. So I think, I think that's bang for your buck, right? Um, of course, you can always subscribe over to that platform as well. Um, and if you do, you'll be able to get access to these extended and romance readings about a day before you get access through the, the YouTube link. Also join me because I have an Instagram profile where I go live Monday through Friday and I give general daily tarot card readings and we have a beautiful time. So um, if you're so inclined, you can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries. And now let's get into the rest of your reading, which is going to start with the animal totem cards it's for Virgo. It's for Virgo. Animal totems. These, these cards actually really help to understand how things are being communicated to you. Like what spirit animals are probably like coming into your life right now and, and, and trying to connect with you and, and what their meaning is. Yeah, you have literally put yourself on the chopping block. This is, this is a sign of self-sacrifice, of giving, giving without asking. And um, ultimately, Virgo, I, like, like how can I say that that's not beautiful? It is extremely beautiful, Virgo. So it's not that you're, okay, it is that you're doing something wrong. <laughs> but um, you, you like, you're doing something wrong by doing too much. So it's almost like if you're, I want to say this to you. If you find yourself feeling like you're, you're spinning your wheels or, or uh, treading water, it's because you're you're working too hard. You know you're you know you're not getting anywhere. It's almost God pulling you back and saying you're not supposed to be going in that direction, Virgo. That's why I'm not letting you go because what you want is behind you. It's not the way you're trying to like paddle 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 and work so hard. You're putting all of yourself into something that is actually not for you. What you really want, what you really really want is actually the other way. So there's a need to redirect your energies. Surrender now. It's exactly what I've been saying is this mentality. This is, and it seems like chaos to you because this is Sagittarius energy. But it's like, no, surrender to the current. I have something just flipped on my video. I'm sorry. Surrender to the current, Virga. Like allow allow faith, allow trust, trust. Please trust 
that what you are feeling is up is actually correct because there's so much passion inside of you there's so much life and energy and and sexiness inside of you that ultimately to deny those aspects of yourself for the aspects of what you can predict and what you can control because that always tends to be the Virgo caveat is but I will always yield to control I will always yield to what can I control I'm going to date this person because they let me control them I'm going to date this person because I can be the one running things I'm going to date this person but do you fucking are you over the moon for them is your heart bursting open for them are they really the love of your life and I know that a lot of times the love of your life can be based on continuity and steadfastness and somebody that you can trust and somebody that you can build with. But is it stoking your fire? And that's what I'm telling you. That kind of feeling is coming up this month. And it's okay to answer yourself honestly. You're not having this conversation with anybody else. You're having this conversation with yourself. So it's okay to answer honestly. And I know you're like, well, what's the point? What's the point is once you've answered yourself honestly, now you can see where am I now and where do I want to be and how do I get there? But until you've assessed the situation correctly, which is the truth, there's no way for you to maneuver things in order for you to align what your heart wants with what you're living in reality. Um, be loyal to what you love. This actually gets, I got a thud in my chest because part of you, your mind has said, okay, then I stay. I made a decision. I made a commitment. That's where I stay. But then your chest went, but what is really love? What do I really love? This card is telling you, you need to be loyal to what you love, not loyal to what you committed yourself to. And it's hopefully, and this doesn't have to be your whole life. You could have the perfect marriage and your career is fucked, right? And this, this realignment has to do with the career, right? You could have the perfect career, but you know that something about this, this, this commitment you're in, this relationship you're in, it's not feeding your soul, right? We're I'm talking about realigning yourself. You make your head listen to your heart instead of vice versa. And then we have overcome any obstacle. So as bad and rough and horrible as it seems, it is not. You will be able to push through this. Um, this is also a sense of finding a way when it doesn't seem like there is one. As well as, because this is Taurus energy, um, only, like rhino, rhinos only act at the right moment. Like rhinos only act after they've assessed the situation really, really honestly and clearly. And they will take action, but they're actually very docile, peaceful creatures. So they don't take action for no reason. So there is plenty of room and space. What, what rhino energy is telling me is there's plenty of room and space for you to assess the situation logically. As long as, remember what I said in the beginning of the reading, as long as, as, as long as faith is part of that conversation, as long as your heart is part of that conversation, how you got here for whatever area in your life, this is impacting you. The way you got here is you just stopped listening to your heart. It was easier. It was easier to shut it down completely because it caused conflict. Well, that conflict is important for you. It's an essential part of you, and it's a part of you that needs your love right now. Let's get into your angel messages. Let's see what the angels have to say. Really interesting how the cards came out. Ooh, and this was hidden too. I'm glad I looked. Destiny. That's what you feel. I'm telling you, your destiny is pulling you even away from where you've gotten comfortable. Your destiny is to blossom, to shine, to transform, to ever greater light. Destiny is calling you, Virgo. You cannot resist it. And part of you, that part of you that likes excitement and adventure, Part of you, you don't want to. So hands in the air, man. Let God take you where it may. Precious gift, friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what is important. 
That message stands for whoever needs to hear it. It's very clear. Vision. A positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. That's about loving you and taking care of you too. And maybe that's the part that you've been leading at lead, lead see that's the part that you've been leaving out of the recipe. Yourself. You've been leaving yourself out as if that's going to create something that you enjoy. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. So by putting yourself in, you're not going to ruin the recipe. You're going to make it better. Protection. You are safe. Do not fear. We are always with you and surround you always with our invisible wings of light. That's so beautiful. Integrity. Be flexible, but also be true to you. This is, this is about bringing yourself back into the equation. Uh, stand by your beliefs and values and others will stand by and believe in you. Okay, no, this is what I want to say. It's not about what I've decided and what the public has accepted as what I believe in. No, it's what you really believe in, where your heart is. That's what I want to just really drive home. Integrity. A part of you that you put away because you felt oh, it's too complicated and it won't be love. It will be love. You just have to allow it. And you have to love it first. Archangel Michael, the path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. And you can move forward with ease and confidence. You will achieve what your heart desires. And Michael wields that mighty sword. So he'll offer you clarity as well. Speaking of clarity, let's go to tarot so I can articulate exactly where the real bitch is. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the issue and how do we deal with it? That link is below. I will see you guys in the extended.